So the first look of One UI 8 has been revealed and I'll be real with you, it's not exactly what I was expecting. What's up guys, Sal here. So while most of us are still stuck waiting for the One UI 7 update to arrive on our devices, an early build of One UI 8 has already made its way into the wild. And thanks to the folks at Sammobile, we now have a full hands-on look at it running on the Z Flip 6. Now before anyone gets too excited or disappointed, let's be clear, this is an early version. It's very much a work in progress. Samsung will almost certainly pack in more features before its official debut, which will happen alongside the Galaxy Z Fold 7 in July. And yes, there will be more AI stuff. That's basically a given at this point. But judging by this preview, One UI 8, at least right now, doesn't look all that different from One UI 7. The visual changes are minimal. In fact, if no one told you it was a new version, you'd probably assume it was One UI 7.1, which honestly might be exactly what this is under the hood. And that makes sense. One UI 7 was a major overhaul. It was one of the biggest software updates Samsung has rolled out in years. So it's no surprise that One UI 8 is more of a refinement than a revolution. That said, there are a few notable changes worth pointing out. Probably the biggest and most welcome change is that Now Brief is finally going to be available on older devices as well. Until now, it's been locked into the Galaxy S25 series, and Samsung didn't include it with One UI 7 update for the S24 series. But with One UI 8, that's changing. Now let's be honest, Now Brief in its current form isn't blowing anyone's mind. But it does have potential. Samsung showed off some impressive use cases during their developer demo, and if they can bring that same experience to older devices, this could turn into a real standout feature. Next up, Quick Share is getting some changes. The new menu is now split into two tabs, Send and Receive. When you switch to Receive, your device becomes temporarily visible to others for file sharing, and you can easily exit when you're done. This is way better than the current visibility settings, where your phone had to stay visible to everyone for at least 10 minutes. With this update, you're no longer leaving your device open longer than necessary, way better for both convenience and privacy. Samsung is also expanding its log video capabilities to more devices, including the Z Fold 6 and Flip 6. For those of you who like to shoot in log and color grade your footage later, this is a big win. We're also seeing some visual refinements, nothing groundbreaking but worth mentioning. In the gallery app, the menu options now have a circular background, giving them a more modern and clean look. It's purely cosmetic, the functionality is unchanged. The file manager also gets a similar design tweak, again not a game changer but it does feel a bit more polished. And that's about all we can see in this early version. But like I've said earlier, this isn't the final release. Samsung is clearly still working on it and we'll probably see more AI features, more optimization, and possibly even some visual surprises by the time it officially ships with the Z Fold 7 and Flip 7. Just don't go in expecting another One UI 7 level upgrade because this is very much a 7.1 in disguise. Now speaking of One UI 7, let's talk about that little mess. Samsung has officially addressed the delay in rolling it out. In South Korea, they issued a statement saying the rollout was paused because some users couldn't unlock their phones after installing the update. That's kind of a big deal, but the issue has been fixed and the update has resumed rolling out. So if your device hasn't received One UI 7 yet, it should land in the next few days. If you're using a Samsung flagship release in the last two years, expect it this month, Everyone else will likely get it in waves through May and June. As for what's next, well, the Galaxy Z Fold 7 is shaping up to be a huge leap forward for foldables, and it will be launching with One UI 8 out of the box. If you want to see all the big upgrades coming with that phone, click right here, and I'll see you there.